then Narsimha Gaurgirle got elected. And uh, so he was also convinced, this is what we have done. So he got it through. Only mistake he made. Mm. And I told him from day one, and I'm telling him Narendra Modi the same thing today. Mm. You see, when you bring economic reform, you must know that there are vested interests who have been for decades enjoying the rental value of these quotas and licenses. So you get a license, you go and sell it in the black market, you make a huge amount of money without doing any work. Because the industrialists don't have access, you, you join the party, in the party, through the party you get the minister to allocate a license for a particular project. Mm. And then you go and sell it in the open black market. There was no way to check whether you, you, the, that is being used for the purpose for which you got the license. Mm. So people are making a lot of money, mm. all in black. Now suddenly you come and abolish it. It has immediate effect that these chaps are going to lose their money, license quotas. But the people didn't realize that this is to their benefit because it's all filtered down process. Mm. So there's a gestation lag between economic reforms and benefits coming to the people. So the sensible way of doing it was do something where people get something right away so that those who lose cannot match these larger numbers who will stand up for you. Otherwise, they'll do propaganda, this is all for capitalists, this is all American directive, blah, blah. And this is what happened with Narsimha Rao. Mm. All the leftists were on rampage on this. So, uh, when Narsimha Rao came to power, the first thing he did to me is, where are those blueprints? I think the, one of his biography now records that. Uh, there's a professor, Sita Pati or something, in. Ashoka University, he's written a book mm -hmm. on Narsimha Rao. Mm -hmm. So he asked me, as I said, yes, I'll give it to you. Uh, but then, then he asked me, why don't you join? Uh, I told you that story. So my contribution was to get that blueprint prepared, uh, put it through the cabinet. Narsimha Rao didn't have to do any groundwork. Mr. Manmohan Singh then became finance minister. Uh, Montek Singh became finance secretary. And they implemented. Mm. Manmohan Singh, in my presence, would be so upset that the parliament abused him. Narsimha Rao, my presence told me, uh, uh, in my presence, told Manmohan Singh, go and tell them that it is that old man Narsimha Rao who's <laughs> insisting on it. I'm not responsible. Put the blame on me. That was the kind of man he is. He should have got the uh, uh, Bharat Ratna. I'm sure I won't let go till he gets it. Thanks. But the fact is that that changed. We were growing at for 40 years at 3.5% per year. Mm -hmm. Now we started growing at 7 8%, and we are within the reach of the magical number of 10%. Mm -hmm. And so if there's a real reformer, I mean, you can always have scholars produce things. Of course, if the scholars don't have political sense, then you will produce all the wrong things. Mm -hmm.